Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be doing an intro to the Terraform files and directories. Uh, we'll be working with the Terraform files and directories a lot uh, later in the course. But for now, I just want to introduce the Terraform files and directories and uh, what significance those have uh, with Terraform. So with Terraform, we start out with the idea of a module. Now, a module is simply a collection of Terraform files, uh, usually ending in the .tf extension, and these are saved in a given directory. Now, the Terraform directory that your configuration files are saved in is essentially looked at as a module to Terraform. Now, Terraform has this concept of a root module. And this root module is defined by whatever working directory you're in uh, when you run Terraform from the CLI. And then if you need to, there's different CLI options where you can pick uh, different paths for uh, your root module location. But typically, your uh, root module is the working directory you're running Terraform in. Terraform Cloud and Enterprise Editions handle root modules a bit differently, where your root module is usually your uh, top-level directory uh, in your code repository that you have your workspace configured to. So within a Terraform module or a directory, uh, any Terraform files contained within it are basically treated as a single Terraform configuration. Uh, Terraform basically looks at all the Terraform files in that directory and merges them all into one. Having one single Terraform file with hundreds of different resources defined in it it's really treated no differently than if each of those resources were in its own file. But having a single file, though, with uh, you know hundreds or thousands of different providers and uh, different variable blocks uh, can get really hard to read. So you can break apart these large Terraform configuration files into separate files that group your configuration into uh, a structure that's easier to find what you're looking for and uh, makes more logical sense. You just want to remember that any files in that same directory or module are treated as one single configuration when Terraform evaluates that module. Now, we know Terraform always has this root module or top-level directory that it runs in, but what if we put other directories within this root module directory's path? Well, in this case, these are simply nested directories, and each of these nested child directories are treated as different modules. So the Terraform files contained within a child nested directory are all treated with the same behavior where the Terraform files within that module they're all combined and loaded and evaluated together by Terraform. Having your modules as child directories of your root module directory uh, is actually quite common, but you can also put uh, module directories into Terraform that are outside of this root module directory, uh, living somewhere else in your file system, or even remote sources like the Terraform registry. Now, as far as some best practices within any module, uh, including your root module or any child modules, you typically create a file called main.tf. And this file becomes your main Terraform configuration file, which defines all the resources Terraform will manage. The main.tf file will call the different modules, uh, locals, and data sources needed to create all the resources. Another file that's commonly created is the versions.tf file. And this is where you typically configure the uh, Terraform and provider version requirements you're using in their respective uh, Terraform and provider block types. Uh, and this can make it easier to view and manage your version details of Terraform. Uh, and the different uh, provider plugins you're using without really having to dig around in other files uh, and leave those other files more focused on configuring resources. Similarly, any output values of the resources being created by that main.tf configuration would be defined in its own separate file called outputs.tf. Now, within a given module, you may also have different files for variables, uh, something like uh, terraform.tfvars or uh, variables.tf. Uh, now, there's actually a lot going on with uh, Terraform variables and these different file types, and we'll have a whole uh, section in the course covering all this stuff. Uh, but for now, that's it for this lesson on Terraform files and directories. We're building up our understanding of Terraform layer by layer here. Uh, so hang in there, and all the stuff will come together and make a lot more sense as we start working through some Terraform examples in the upcoming lessons. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.